Oh, wow. That is amazing. Particularly annoying is that in this area there's a guy who goes and drops that little drawbridge, so you can hear it closing in the background. But now I've got to do the long way around, which that's fine. More experience for me anyways. Also, the giant pig. Kind of hard to miss. The good news about this uh, big and annoying enemy is once you take him down, he does not respond. So even when I set the bonfire and I bring back the other enemies, he will stay gone. So I don't want to fight with him right now. So I'm just going to ignore him. This is another trap. He tries to rush ahead, so that way his buddies back here will ambush you from the sides. Those guys are down. There's one more here. And there's normally a key in this corner. Let's see what we're going to get this time. Oh, we got a miracle. So, that's something we can actually use. I might need to level up Faith, maybe? I'm not sure what the requirement is for heal, but... That's one of the first miracles you get, so it can't be too bad. Now I'm remembering there was a merchant in the very beginning that we completely skipped. I think we were running for our life at the time. We'll have to go see what he has for sale. But we're actually about to open up a shortcut to go right to him, so that's a good time to go check. He looks friendly. Oh, he kind of looked over his shoulder. Well, norm you can't sneak up on this guy, but I'm wearing incredibly heavy armor, so it's going to be difficult for me to do so. Oh, I did it. Just barely. This is normally a shield. Oh! I got the thank you carving. I think I already have those gauntlets. Yeah, I already have the Boulder gauntlets. Can't wear them right this second. The thank you carving is great. In Dark Souls, normally the only way you can communicate with other players is by writing messages on the ground. But in the DLC, they added these little items that you can drop on the ground to say very, very basic expressions. Like, uh, thank you. So whenever you drop it, he goes, thank you. It's, a, it's kind of a silly game bite sound. All right, there's two guys, one on my left, one on my right. Should get their attention, hopefully. Very slowly. Yeah, I'm on. Get over here. Alright, so he's down. And the much tougher enemy is right there, the Balder Knight. He's not quite as dumb as these general enemies that I've been fighting. Ah. Oh, that sucks. 
because of that mist that should have hit. Alright, well at least now the area is a little more open. So now there's a couple of little enemies in front of me, and we'll get to the next bonfire. Let's head to that bonfire, and then we'll head back into the chapel. done this yet, but we can also go ahead and reverse our hollowing. We kind of look like the little monster guy, just make us look like an actual person again. Now, there's a downside to doing so. When you're in human form, you can be invaded. But the nice thing is that I can also handle the bonfire, which will give me more Estus. So, before I use my souls to level up, let's go see what the merchant downstairs has for sale. And the merchant back at the beginning. Well, you. All right, what do you have for sale? Purchase item. Okay. Got some shards. Sunlight straight sword. Nice. Night shield. Got some arrows. And that crown of dusk would be useful if I had some. Well, the capability of doing some magic, but that's a pretty useful crown. It's only 300, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Even if I can't use it right away, I can definitely use that later. And this humanity is only 10 souls, so let's go ahead and buy that as well. Okay. Burn this gesture. <laughs> nice. So we still have about 1,800 souls, and there's one big enemy, kind of like the pig, who if I can defeat him, he won't respawn and he'll stay out of the way. But I do have my humanity that I can risk losing, because since I reversed it and I'm now a in human form, one, I can be invaded, but two, I could also summon anybody. So if there is anybody online playing right now, I actually have the chance of bringing them into my world, they can help me out. We have to get lucky, though. This is an old game, so there's not always a lot of people playing it. So at the time, if there were any summon signs, they'd be right here at the steps. And I'm not seeing any. So fingers crossed we don't get invaded. So I'm just going to run past Big Dude, because this is a place where I have been frequently invaded. There's a couple of items I can grab now that I've activated that shortcut. First, I've got to do this. Nicely done. And roll across to grab this key. Which, of course, is not a key. Wonderful. It's all another item over here somewhere. What that is. Oh wow, that is amazing. What what is even the stat requirement to use that? Let's look at this. Yeah, it requires 24 intelligence. Wow, I can dump, start dumping some points onto intelligence. That was a very useful drop. There's a magic user in the game named Logan, and I think you actually have to defeat him to get that item. So. I don't think I have quite enough to level up. Let's check. Yeah, I'm very close, but 
Let's go ahead and stop. This is a good point. So again, guys, this is me playing some Dark Souls with the item randomizer on it. I actually got pretty lucky this far in this game. I've gotten some pretty good items, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to play some more of it, just let me know. As always, have a good one, everybody.